Hey guys, Team Marks here with another lovely embarrassing Jiu Jitsu experience. So this one is an open mat charity event. So if you don't know what these are, sometimes local clubs will try and raise money for some sort of cause. If you think I can remember what the cause was, I have absolutely no idea what it was. But what we did is clubs from all over Queensland get invited to one Jiu Jitsu gym and you pay 15, 20 bucks, 10 bucks, something to donate towards the cause and people from all over come over and do an open mat. We get to roll with so many people, so many different people from different clubs, different parts of the state, um, different experiences, different levels and it's usually a pretty fun day in, to meet a lot of different people that are into the same thing you are. So whenever I get a chance, I usually try and go to these if it's to support someone with cancer or to support some kids in Africa of eyesight, something like that. I usually generally enjoy doing these things. So this one in particular was not my funnest experience. So this one was at a local gym. The gym is absolutely gorgeous. I haven't seen this gym before, so it was the first time there, so I was pretty excited. I was a blue belt at the time, and one of the best things about these things is you get to see all your old friends from all the different clubs they have not seen forever. So you get a catch up, you get a meet up, you get a roll, you get a test your jitsu against some people that you haven't seen for a while to see where you're leveling, leveling up. Because as you know, everyone at your own gym, you kind of know what not to do, you kind of know what they're good at, like if they're really good at arm bars to try and not get stuck in one of their arm bars, if they're good at back takes, really defend your back. So at this point I've been there for about an hour, hour and a bit, they've done a bunch of funky speeches and everyone's been rolling. Now there's this group of like Tongan Islander guys, now these guys are massive and they're from the south side of Brisbane, these guys are big and usually in my gym we have like one or two big guys but not like a massive group of tough big guys that, you know the group of guys that make a lot of noise and they're really out there and they really stand out. So I'm rolling for a bunch of people and at this point I just want to roll with everyone. So I'm just grabbing every single person. I'm a little bit, you know, I, I'm a blue belt. So at this point I roll with white belts and I roll with purple belts and I don't care. Whereas now I'm a little bit more cautious with who I roll with because I'm so injured. I'm picking everyone. Then there's this big... Tongan Islander dude and he is the biggest dude I've ever rolled with like picture like the rock but not as much muscle just like a massive human being so we're rolling and of course usually when you roll people so big and you're the small one they generally let you on top so we're rolling I'm passing this guy I'm doing really well and we look over and he looks over and all his buddies are laughing because right now I am a 60 kilo girl at this point and it looks like I'm dominating him he is a white belt and I'm a blue belt and I am kicking his ass but let's be fair if he wanted to at this point and he just wanted to sit on me and squish me I would have been fucked but the fact that I was on top I was passing I was being technical and I was doing really well and it was quite impressive like I really wish I could have video footage of this experience because I was on a high I was like fuck yes I was happy now all these friends are cracking up laughing and he was not a happy duckling so he just did a basic sweep on me he had a lot of weight behind him so he fully pushed me over I'm on my back I'm playing open guard I'm doing my best this dude is a giant so I'm doing my absolute best to kind of keep him away Next minute, he passes his guard, my guard, I roll to my side, and all of a sudden, he drops all his weight down on my shoulder, and I just hear, crack, 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 and oh my god, the instant pain was insane. I actually thought I broke my collarbone. The crack I heard and felt all through my sternum was insane, and he passed my guard, I was in so much pain, I was laying there and I was just thinking, holy fuck, that did not sound good and that does not feel good. So we continue rolling. As you probably know from open mats, there is no timer. So you just roll until you don't feel like rolling anymore. So you can roll one person for two hours if you want to, or two minutes. Like you do not know how long you're rolling for. He passes my guard, just crack, crack, crack. I'm in so much pain. He goes all the way around. His weight is continuing on me. He goes in, gets an armbar. I'm like, cool, tap. And then we sit down and then he's like, oh, we'll keep rolling. And I'm like, oh my God, I'm actually really thirsty and I totally need a drink. I'm holding my arm like this. He's like, are you okay? I'm like, yeah, cool, cool. I'm trying to play it like really cool. You don't want to be that like chick that's just like, oh my God, you hurt me. But I'm trying to just relax and be kind of cool about it. Just like, yeah, I'm fine. I'm just really thirsty. Had like a lot of rolls and stuff. He's just like, okay. And I was like, oh, by the way, I was just, I was just curious. How much, how much do you weigh? Oh, like last time I checked, about 150 kilograms, maybe a bit over. I haven't looked for a while. I gained a bit of weight and my heart sank. I was like, oh my God, that much weight just fell on me and my arm is 
feeling and I cannot believe how dumb I was to roll with someone so big and be so relaxed about it. So we finished our conversation, fist bump, handshake, I slowly walk with the mat to go get water, go into the bathroom, take a deep breath, I'm like, okay, that did not feel good. Moving around, feeling everything. I'm like, okay, I don't think I broke my collarbone. Everything was really sore, so thank God. But my arm, I could not move my arm at all. It was in so much pain. So of course, we finished off there. I could not roll anymore. I grabbed an ice pack. I left the gym, driving home again. It's always the right hand. But this time, at least I've had my license for about six months, so I could drive a little bit better than I did when I dislocated my thumb. So I'm driving home one-handed. One other thing you should know about this story is I recently moved out of home at this point. This is my first time I'm not at home and I have a roommate. My roommate is actually my childhood friend that I've known since I was 12 years old in China. Um, he's an awesome dude and he's in the Air Force. So we had just moved in about a week or two before this experience. I get home and I'm wearing one of those sports bra, a Lorna Jane sports bra that's not stretchy. That is so stiff. That is impossible to try and get off. So I get to the bathroom, I'm one top in the shower, I'm covered in my sweat, their sweat, I just really want to shower. I'm in so much pain. So I get in the shower, I take my singlet off, and then I'm looking at this sports bra. I'm like, holy crap, how the hell am I going to get this sports bra off? I had no idea. Any slight movement of my arm was agonizing. So I'm sitting on the bathroom floor, just like, I have no idea what to do. I grab the phone, I call my roommate, I'm like, hey Rumi, um, are you like around at all? And he's like, no, 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 I'm on the other side of town. And I, was, and I was like, okay, cool, never mind. He's like, oh, what's up? Are you okay? I'm like, yeah, I just really into myself and I physically cannot get my sports bra off right now and I totally need help. So he was not able to help me at that point, which thank God he didn't because I feel like that would have taken our roommate relationship to another level. It probably wasn't the best him having to see me in that state. I ended up having to get scissors and take it to my sports bar and complete cut off because I was in agony. So I have a shower, clean up. I go meet up with some friends because we're having drinks somewhere. And I meet up with them and I was talking about my shoulder and I was like, I'm just in so much pain. And then it turns out I did my AC joint and my SC joint. So I licked a joint that's inside the collarbone and one in the middle of the shoulder. And what was I in pain? So I googled it and they're like, you should probably have it in a sling if you did this. So I went to the physio the next day and yes, I totally did this. And I was in and out of a sling for six months because it took so long to heal because I kept re-injuring it because I kept going to training. So pretty much my lesson learned from that one is I now restrict, and I'm now very careful with who I roll with and I now kind of have a weight limit. There are a couple people in my gym that I roll with that are pretty big but I'm very cautious with them because just one wrong movement or just their body weight falling on you wrong. At this point, I was 60 kilograms and he was over 150 kilograms. Like that is insane for me to think that that was okay to roll with him, especially as a blue belt. Now, if you haven't already, check, the, check one of the videos I posted recently, which was also about the time I dislocated my thumb of a dude that was between 100 and 120 kilograms. And I know these two videos, the one thing that they, these two videos have in common is I'm kind of an idiot. Because one, both of these are freak accidents, but the other one, I got kind of cocky. I shouldn't have taken on guys so much bigger than me than they could have just fallen on me like that. So thank you guys so much for checking out my video and listening to my lovely story rant about the time I injured my shoulder so fucking bad with a 150 kilo guy laying on top of me. At least, at least I didn't faint this time and took it like a boss. I only complained a little bit and had to wear a sling quite a bit. But other than that, if you guys have a awkward, painful, or excruciating Jujutsu story that tops mine, please let me know in the comments below. In the meantime, keeping strong, happy, and healthy.